What up guys, it's Tops, and I'm back for another life story video. So this episode, we're gonna be talking about the first time I ever got to meet some of my online friends in real life. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably have friends online that you go on Skype and you talk to, you might play Xbox with them or whatever, but you probably haven't met most of them in real life ever, um, unless you're an adult and you have the ability to just travel freely and uh, you set up an event where you can meet each other, but most people don't really get the opportunity to meet many of their online friends, especially kids because their parents are worried about them talking to strangers and then encountering them in real life. But for me, I actually got to meet a couple, and this was uh, two years ago, almost. Almost two years, I can't believe it's been this long ago. But I had a couple friends online that I had met on YouTube, and they were both from different locations. One of them was actually within an hour distance from me, the other one was over two hours away. And all three of us actually met up at a Super Smash Bros. tournament, because back then, uh, the three of us used to be very into uh, Smash 4, the one that's on the Wii U, and we used to like play that competitively. I'm pretty sure that uh, one of the friends that I met that day still does play it competitively. Uh, the other one and myself, we do not though. Uh, we've moved on and gone to other things, but I used to be really into that game back then. and. We thought, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity for the three of us to meet up. It was a place that was not is somewhat central. It was more closer to me and one of my friends than the one that was farther away, but um, it ended up being an ideal location because we could all get there. So we got there. This was a point where I didn't have a car. I didn't have a driver's license. I was still 15. I couldn't even get my permit yet. So I had to ask my dad to drive me there, and it was like over half an hour away. So he's like, all right, I don't want to just drop you off like at some random place, though, unless you have like someone with you. So like I just took one of my friends, and then he was like fine with that. He just didn't really want to leave me like by myself somewhere like far away, and he kind of had no idea what was going on because, you know, at the time I can't even drive. Like, I, I kind of get that. Nowadays, it's kind of different. I'd just be able to get in the car and drive there myself. But I digress. Going back into this, uh, so I took one of my good friends, my friend Justin, who he used to have a YouTube channel, some of you guys might remember, Typical Force, but we went there and we were just chilling at the tournament and we see one of my friends there, who was actually the one who was further away, uh, was there first, my friend Max, who actually has a new YouTube channel. I'll leave a link below if you want to go check him out. He's just starting YouTube again after taking a break from it for like over a year, so if you guys want to go give him some support, that would be great, I appreciate it. Uh, link below and I'll probably have a card up in the video or an end screen annotation for that But anyway, he was there and we saw each other and we were just so excited to actually meet in person It was great and uh, we just started playing some games together and talking and we just had a very fun time that day uh, The other friend that I was meeting actually arrived there um, About an hour later, I'd say um, our friend Sean he had come from about the same distance away that I was, like around half an hour or so, I believe. But uh, he couldn't get there until a little bit later. But we started talking and everything. We had a great time. And we were just playing Smash the whole time, really. Which, I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing you do over the internet. But it's a lot different when you actually get to meet someone in person. So we were talking. We were having a great time. Just getting to know each other a little bit better, I guess. I know we already like know each other and everything because how much we talk online. But... Talking to someone in person is actually a lot different than just talking to them online. I've only met uh, these friends on a couple other occasions than this. Both of those times were like really important, you know, like to actually get to see them in person. And hopefully I'll get to see them again in person, but you know, I just like to focus on this because it was the first time I'd ever really gotten to talk to a friend online in person before. And these were just not like friends online that I talked to like once in a month or something like that. Like my friend Max especially, I used to talk to him like every single day and I still do. We're still actually very close friends. We just haven't met each other again in like a year and a half. So we'll have to set up something where we could see each other again in real life because uh, it's been a while. But it was nice. It was really cool getting to see him in real life and everything. And when he finally left, it was pretty sad, but I was still happy just that I got to meet him and Sean in real life for once. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. It was just a cool experience, I'd like to say. If you have any friends that uh, you've met in real life, please let me know in the comments. If you do have a friend that you would like to meet in real life like that, but 
you know, you're kind of nervous, I'd suggest going to an event like that, like a public thing like that. Because then you don't have to worry about, like, talking to someone who you don't know on the internet, really. Like, and if you're a kid and you have parents that are worried about that, going to a place like a Smash tournament is perfect, because it's a public event. So, it's a great way to meet people there. But, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, it really helps out. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is Tops, and I'm out.